Okay, I thought the easiest way to describe this is through a video. The link to the content that I have copyrighted that needs to be removed is a link to this app right here in the Google Play App Store. And it shows up, just to show you, this is my original app here and this is the Copycat app. Just to point off, first of all, he has 3,000 ratings. Um, I only have a thousand, but yet I've been in the store, the Google Play app store for probably eight years. He's been in for maybe a year, so he's purchased reviews to show up ahead of me. But And just to briefly show where he shows up ahead of me, which is right here. If you do a search for my app, he now he's been showing up the past year or so. So just to show that it's a copycat app, I'll go ahead and open. Uh, this is my original app here. This is his copycat app. On the home page, you can see we have the same three tabs. He's got home toolkit settings. I've got home tools settings. Uh, your recovery, after you set your, how long you've been sober for, your sobriety date. Very similar, he shows this, how many days you've been sober, I'll show that. Your sobriety date. This is the daily reflection from Alcoholics Anonymous that we use, and he provides a link to the daily, daily reflection. Scroll down, and lo and behold, there's a prayers section. Sorry, this is going to display an ad in a second. But there's a prayer section with the serenity prayer, third step prayer, seventh step prayer, uh, prayer of St. Francis. Let me get rid of this ad real quick. Sorry about that. And so those are duplicated there. But the most important thing, the way I make money from this app to support development and to keep it up and running is through the toolkit on the tools page. I give away these tools for free and then I have a few premium tools down here and he's replicated this entire functionality um, through he calls step tip inventory spot check same exact thing as mine the nightly inventory exact same journal exact same gratitude list pro exact same Pinlock, he shows that in a different section but he also sells a pin lock, which I might be able to pull up in here. Yeah, pin locking. He just moved it under his setting spot, but it's the same exact functionality. So, and just to briefly go through it, the spot check inventory, I created one. This is his name. I've already dealt with him in the Apple App Store and they removed him this app from the Apple App Store. So I'm trying to get it removed from Google Play also. But for the spot check inventory, I haven't created one yet in here, but basically you would just enter this data. Because I'm not gonna fill in all this. And uh, just we'll just select a few things, but everything on here is exactly the same as mine. Um, the premium, even down to the premium feature that we sell is the ability to email or text this. This is a premium functionality, which he just copied right here. You can see same exact thing. You can then text the details to your sponsor in the program so he replicated that and then the nightly inventory feature is also a complete knockoff which you can see by I'll say I'm gonna add a nightly inventory so there's the date were we resentful okay so I'll say this were we resentful I have a little more detail same exact interface next next were we selfish? Oh, look, I have the same thing. Were we selfish? Were we dishonest? Were we dishonest? 
I'll just go through this real quick, but everything is exactly the same. No difference. He completely copied it. So, question 10. We'll see. Question 10 is exactly the same. Or were we thinking of ourselves? Blah, blah, blah. Save it. Done. Offer the ability to email or text. He makes you go through one more step to email or text it down here. But the functionality is exactly the same. And in that feature, obviously the gratitude list, I won't go into all the details for all this, but I can if you have any further questions. Let me go in here. So the gratitude list pro, which is the same as mine. Um, and you can upgrade and the settings are a little bit different, but not much. Um, he just, you know, you can uh, review the app. I have a feedback and support. He doesn't. So, yeah, basically the app's exactly the same. And what Apple did for me, since his app adds no value, was remove his app from the App Store. I was hoping Google would do the same. The only way he was able to show up ahead of me was through purchasing reviews, which is uh, pretty easy to do from just do a quick Google search. And while it's against Google's policies, um, you know, I think he was obviously unethical enough to copy my app completely. So I'm sure he had no problem purchasing the reviews. Uh, giving him the 3,000 reviews and plus installs as, a, as opposed to mine where these are actual reviews from people. So I was hoping we could get his app removed and uh, get this issue resolved. Thank you for your help. Bye.